Hi guys, I'm so happy to be back. For this class, I'll be teaching you fruits and florery. So I have some of my fruits uh, that I have at home. I have orange, lemon and grapes. And this is what we are going to learn. Orange, strawberries, peach, peaches, lemons, and over here I have pears, blackberries, grapes. So as usual, I will be showing you what other things that we actually need, our supplies. Okay. For this class, I'm using, let me see, I'm using Princeton brushes. I'm using the smaller brushes. Princeton Kolinsky Sabre, round 6, round 4, and round 2. And I need synthetic brush like Heritage round two and six yeah i may or may not use round six and as usual we need two glasses of water and by now i hope you know what are these two glasses for one the bigger one i use it to wash my brushes i wash my brushes and clear off of the paints and if i need to get clean water I need a clean serviette so if I need clean water I will just get from my next glass yep so this and of course we need the most important thing is our paints <laughs> okay let me just take out my paint for this class I'm using shimmick paints Okay, that's one gouache to quiet. And you will see that for this class, fruits and flowery, I need a little bit more colors. Okay. Yep, I need a little bit more colors. Okay, great. Let me just arrange them nicely. Yep, so in colors, we like to arrange them accordingly. Let this okay. So, as I mentioned, because this class we are painting quite a lot of food, and I was just and I was just writing down the lessons that we are going to have. I'm I have about twenty lessons, <laughs> so and seven fruits to teach. So I will be using um, okay lemon yellow. Capnum Yellow Deep, Yellow Ochre, Verminian, Brilliant Opera Rose, Queen of Sidon Magenta, Potter's Pink for the flowers, Perilin Maroon, and for the grapes, Brilliant Violet, Purple Magenta. For the greens, I chose a few green earth, sap green, chromium, oxide green, perylene green. So I always like to have uh, different uh, tones. I like to have different tones for my greens. Yeah. So I have chosen this four and uh, for flowers, yes, all this. And I will need a gouache. So I have taken out shemic horridum gouache, titanium white. And I may also need yellow, so for my flowers. With our brushes ready and paints, and we need the papers. For this class, I'm using Starlight paper. Okay, I think most of you may have not heard of this paper. Yeah, but that's fine. 
because I got it from my supplier. This paper is 50% cotton. It's cold press, 300 gram, because I'm painting uh, fruits and some of these fruits uh, do have quite a bit of surface area. And most of my paintings, I do use 300 gram papers. And uh, okay, and I have them in A4 and I cut into A5. This will be for maybe swatches or for some uh, simple samples. Okay, and earlier on you saw that I have this round coasters. These are actually some samples paper that I received, so I just make do of what I have to paint on this. And if you want to paint coaster, you can actually uh, just cut it up. So this is not any of the brand that I have. It's just some coaster samples that I received. Yeah, you can just just draw it up. Yeah, for your coaster. So we have our papers and. For those of you who have been joining me for some time, you know that uh, I like to use this Fabiano Cold Press 100% cotton. If you don't have this 50% cotton star-like paper, the next choice is probably yeah, the next choice will be Fabiano 100% cotton 300 gram paper. We don't really need the highest grade for me the highest grade is arches we don't really need arches and so uh, I'm happy to tell you that uh, for this fruits and flower wreath we actually just need 50% uh, cotton for me I uh, all these are 50% cotton and I get very nice bleeding like this so yeah so we will be starting very soon.